And there it is, guys. Epic Brozovic is leaving Inter. A sad, sad day. My third video of this day. Um, first, we said goodbye to D'Ambrosio. That was kind of a nice goodbye, but this one is... Uh, it hurts. It was coming. We've been hearing rumours for a few weeks and, you know, maybe since last January about Brozovic potentially leaving. And uh, yeah, today I thought, I thought maybe this is the end. He's, he's not looking like he's accepting the Saudis and Barcelona too broke. But no, Saudis came back in with the big P's, the big boy offer. Brozovic can negotiate better than Inter. So Inter are getting from Al Nasser only 23 million euros. For one of the best, best elite CDMs, registers in the world, 23 million euros. And doesn't, from what we've heard now, there's no bonuses either. I mean, I thought maybe they'll push some bonuses up to 30, 35, but no, crazy, crazy. On the same day that you hear Mason Mount going for 60 and yesterday Declan Rice under the fight. Anyway, I'm happy for Brozo. I'm happy for Brozo. This guy... From their initial offer, Al Nasser was 60 million for three years to Brozovic. Tax free, by the way, so 20 million a year. Brozo, with his entrepreneurial ways, posting on social media, laughing and trolling, has negotiated his way into a hundred million in three years. So he's increased his salary from the initial offer by 40 million. We should have put Brozovic in charge of negotiations for Inter. This guy knows how to negotiate. And that's it, an end of the adventure of, of Brozovic. What an adventure, guys. Um, and it's hitting me, like, I've, I am actually feeling quite sad. He's one of my favorite players. My two favorite players are gone. The two favorite players are gone, guys. Milan Skriniar was my favorite player at Inter. And of course, we know his the way he's leaving is definitely not as nice. This is, you know, much more acceptable and classy in a way um, but yeah Skriniar Brozovic both of them gone in one summer um, and there's lots of outgoings this summer but those two you know they're really the guys that brought us out of the Bant era those guys like r got better as we got out of the Bant era like Skriniar became one of the best center backs in the world and Brozovic became one of the best CDMs in the world since after Spalletti converted him into that position 2017-18 season Inter versus Napoli I still remember that game I've posted that game on my channel in the past as well uh, on my Twitter it's just unique it's not even just about footballing wise you know I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a classy regista guy like my favorite player in world football is Tony Kroos for people that know me uh, I love the Sergio Busquets of this world. I love the Xabi Alonso's, the Xavi, Pirlo, Thiago Motta. These are my players and that's Brozovic. But with Brozovic, he's, he, this guy is, is the character off and on the pitch. Is just It, it makes him even more iconic. You know, the, obviously we know the, the crocodile celebration. Uh, sorry, the crocodile free kick. He created that, you know, when you lie down behind the wall. When someone's taking a free kick, so he blocked the, the, the lower part, you know, into Barcelona. He created that. He's obviously his epic Brozo celebration that got viral, you know, uh, a few years ago. Um, just his general antics. Him and Barella, oh man, I feel for Barella. That, that is his best friend in the team, for sure. I don't know if they're best friends in real life, but in the team, that's definitely Barella, Brozovic. Those two are a package deal. And um, yeah. <laughs> We're not going to get to see those two together. And uh, yeah, I'm going to miss, I'm going to miss Marcelo Brozovic for sure. Uh, I don't know the reasons why they sold him and sold him for so cheap, but we'll have to find out at some point soon. Again, it must be something other than just footballing and financial reasons to me. It must be something related to the rumours about disagreements about Brozovic, the way he's handled his injury, professionalism, etc, etc. Because that's usually how... Marotta handles things, but still the price is too low for me. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. Inter are going to go for Fratesi now, apparently for his replacement. Obviously, it's not his direct replacement. His direct replacement is Hakan Chalanolu, who now has to step up in that role, like he did last season. But can he do it full time? And Christian Aslani, he needs to be given the chance to grow into that role. 
Uh, but yeah, Marcelo Brozovic. How are you guys gonna remember him? I am mostly my only good things. Even 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 when he wasn't that good, I used to like him when he was frustrating and annoying. Even back then, I used to like him because I just used to see like there's something there. There's something there. Someone just needs to get it out. But I didn't think it was gonna be a CDM. But I think my favorite moment of his is um, the the Milan derby under Conte first season. He was wearing the captain's armband. You know, he went from being booed a few years ago uh, before that to wearing the captain's armband, one of the greatest return comeback stories in Inter history that I remember. You know, guy being booed by Inter fans and now becoming, you know, loved by most. But yeah, that Milan derby moment from him, the scoring 2-0 down at halftime. He scores the first goal, beautiful volley, uh, first time, and that initiated the comeback. I think that, that is definitely up right up there as my, one of my favourite Brozovic moments. This season he had that last minute winner against Torino, that was really nice as well. Uh, but just generally the guy dominating games, you know, Derby, Juventus, Milan. People used to try and man-mark this guy, Kessi, Kuluzewski, whoever you just get trying to put man on him. Nah, he can't, he can't man-mark Brozo, he'll, he'll find, he'll evade his way out. Um, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna miss Epic Brozovic, man. I'm gonna miss this guy. But man's gotta do what he's gotta do. Get the bag. I hope he is, is happy there. And I hope he stays there. I don't want him to come back to Europe to another team. That will kill me. Like if he goes back, because Barcelona are interested in him. And if Barcelona sign him next year, you know, he tries to get out of this contract or the Saudi league thing just falls apart and we see him at another European team, I'll cry, man. Uh, I'm, I hope he stays there, earns his money out there, continues his crypto business, whatever he wants to do, darts, bar that he owns. Crazy guy. Hope he continues that and hope he continues. I hope he uh, helps Al Nasser. I would like to see Al Nasser now. They've got a midfielder. They might have Seko Fofana from Lons. Cristiano, obviously, like they're, they're, they're building an interesting team. I, I might have to, honestly, I might have to tune in. I wasn't really that interested in this whole Saudi thing, but now more and more players keep going and some of these teams are actually looking quite interesting. So, yeah, only love for Brozovic and, you know, leaving, as I said, at least we're getting some money. He's not leaving on the free and leaving on good terms with the fans. Always, um, you know, respect. And his last ever game for Inter, Champions League final with the captain's armband, can leave with his head held high. He was one of the best players on that pitch. He reminded us one last time what a player he is. Epic Brozovic, I'm gonna miss him. The only guy that on my channel has a stories video, guys, type in the story of Epic Brozovic, video I made about his story at Inter. That's how much he meant to me, that guy. If you guys know my live stream intro, he also, we also have, you know, Brozovic laying down, looking at you. Um, he, he's part of that intro video that I have, him and Barella. So it just shows how much I like Brozo, man. And I've always said, if I, was, if I ever was get to get a shirt for Inter, I never get names at the back, it would have been probably a Brozovic 77 shirt. So, sad day, but good luck, epic Brozo, and keep conquering the world and keep spreading the, the gospel of the crocodile.